Lesson 14a, Searching for Domestic Names in the Geographic Names Information System. This lesson will show how to use the Domestic Names Search application to find names of geographic features. The National Map is a collection of mapping products and services produced by the USGS National Geospatial Program. These products and services are accessible online at the National Geospatial Program website, usgs.gov ngp. The National Geospatial Program has released a series of how-to videos for people who are working with the National Map data and services. The videos show how to use the services and interfaces to access data and tools for viewing, analyzing, and printing geospatial data. Lessons 1 and 2 serve as an introduction to the training materials and the remaining how-to videos may be viewed as needed in any order, depending on the user. By the end of this lesson, you will be introduced to the Geographic Names Information System, understand the search application for U.S. domestic geographic names, and see some search options and help features. The U.S. Board on Geographic Names, or BGN, is responsible for recording the names of geographic features, populated places, and civil divisions. More information on the BGN can be found at usgs.gov geonames. The database of these names is called the Geographic Names Information System, or GNIS. The Domestic Names Committee of the BGN is responsible for standardizing the names of places, features, and areas within the United States and its territories. The GNIS Domestic Names Search application is available and is accessed by selecting the Search Domestic Names button at this URL. The Domestic Names Search application is easy to use and provides fast results. The map on the right is used to help with the search and also display results. The panel to the left of the map will show search results, and the panel to the left of that is used to enter the search terms. A few sample searches will show how the application works and different ways to search. Let's start by searching to see what features contain the word Ventura. For these initial searches, we will not include variant names. After you've typed the name, look at the Names Search Mode box below. This affects how the name you entered is used in the search. Includes keywords. This is the default search mode and will search for items containing the word Ventura in it. Let's search now. Now you can see results in the panel to the right. There are a total of 25 named features with the word Ventura somewhere in the name. Scrolling down the list, you will see pinned markers showing where these features are found across the country. Although we know there is a city in California with this name, there are numerous other features with the name, including other populated places and geographic features. Contains text. This will search for items with the word Ventura anywhere within a name, even as part of a longer word. Now we have 35 results, including a few names with Ventura as part of another word. Exact match will show names with Ventura as the only word. You can see five results where the entire name is Ventura. The question mark to the right has details on these options. The map can also help define the search. Let's change the search mode box back to includes keywords as it generated responses across the nation. Expand the feature option by clicking on the word feature in the names panel. Now we can scroll down the Names panel and select Visible in Current Extent. This will allow the map on the right to define the search area. Let's zoom in to Southern California, roughly where the city of Ventura would be, and run the query again. Now the search finds seven names and they're all visible in the map view and clustered around Ventura, California. We can use these results to learn more about this application. You can see the red pins for each name appear, then disappear when you scroll over them. To see them all at once, select the Pin All Markers icon in the Results list. Now there are markers all over the map. As you scroll through the list, you can see the markers highlight. Most names will highlight an individual marker, indicating a single point for a named feature. But one name has many markers. Why is this happening? The map can provide some clues on what this name covers. Let's look at a couple map options. The Map Layers selection allows you to change the map background and add related features. The top four map layers affect the map background. 
it's set to the national map base layer by default. You can change it to display imagery instead. The bottom four items are map overlays that can be added over the background. Two of these overlays can help now. With boundaries on, we can see the yellow boundary outline of Ventura County. All the red pins are within it. Now turning the quad index, you can see the seven and a half minute outlines show up as green quadrangles. All the red pins appear within a portion of the quadrangle within the county boundary. This helps explain the arrangement of the pins within the county. Notice the slider bars under the map overlays. Now you can vary the layer's transparency. Let's try a couple more searches and then you can more fully explore the application on your own. Clear the previous search parameters by clicking Reset. Let's look at South Texas and we're going to search for Rio Grande and restrict the area to the map extent. Now we have seven names and you can see the red pins showing locations. But look at the first name on the list. It is called Capazolo Heights Colonia, which does not have Rio Grande in its name. Why is it on this list? That's because the Include Variants box is checked. This name has a variant, which does contain the words Rio Grande. Click on Details for more. Details opens up a summary report and scroll down and you'll see the variant names and lots of other information. This includes a feature ID, which is a unique code for each GNIS entry. What other features might have variant names? Let's look at the Rio Grande River itself. With its prominence and history, it may have some variant names. It does have numerous variant names, including Native American and Spanish names with additional details on each. Hopefully these sample searches and explanations have been helpful. Feel free to experiment with different searches across the country or for local areas and review the GNIS features and content. Before proceeding further, please note the resources on the left. Search always opens the search function that has been demonstrated. Useful links show related websites such as the U.S. Board on Geographic Names and several different data collections. Help has complete documentation on the application and its content and operations. Official Replacement Names provides details on recent updates to GNIS content based on DOI Secretary's Order 3404. Congratulations, you finished Lesson 14A, Searching for Domestic Names in the Geographic Names Information System. In this lesson, we visited the GNIS Domestic Names Search application, tried some sample searches, saw how some of the search options and map interfaces can affect searches, and noted where help and other resources can be accessed. For more information on the U.S. Board on Geographic Names and GNIS, visit usgs.gov geonames. If you are interested in learning more about the National Map products and services, please see the additional USGS training videos at usgs.gov slash ngpvideos.